A practical proposal for maritime security. Since the wake of the September 11 destruction, America has scrambled to craft a maritime security policy that guards our nation maritime as that and critical port from similar attack. The reaction to gaps in security has been swift and is quite admirable. The nation now, however, stands at a crucial juncture for implementing measures that guarantee our continued safety. While the government has poured resources into beefing up our land security, port security has taken a backseat. And while the nation must be on guard against another airline hijacking like the September 11, 2001, our post may be even more vulnerable. Most of the scholarly analyses on the issue of maritime security have focused on two issues liability in the event of maritime terrorism and possible scenarios for maritime terrorism. In today's environment, conventional maritime law just doesn't suffice, and new angles fresh with maritime industry perspective will be needed. James T. Reilly, planning for the unthinkable environmental disaster planning issues in an age of terroristic threat. Indeed, there is no dearth of description of a possible future attack on the maritime industry. Predictions span the gamut of possibilities. Attacks aim at the vessel containing hazardous materials. Greenway, is it safe? How do law enforcement agencies protect a 900-foot liquefied natural gas tanker from potential attack? With everything they have got, Boston Globe, July 27, 2003, at 12 scenarios involving stowaways terrorists subsiding within containers aboard large cargo vessel, hidden WMD and dirty bombs aboard ship destined for U.S. waters, chemical and biological weapon attack on cruise ship passenger to attack on structures within port. Who, what and where will terrorists strike next? Security Director's Report, August 2003 The practical problem of the prevention of maritime terrorism, describing possible scenarios and current shortcoming of policy presented by a new era of terrorism. All of these predictions have helped those in the maritime industry prepare for possible attacks in the future. Likewise, the existing description and explanation of current security assessment and pending regulation have guided those in the industry in charting the post-9-11 course. Despite this volume of knowledge, scholars and practitioners have overlooked some of the simplest, most practical effort aimed at preventing terrorist incidents. This article attempts to fill that gap by suggesting some simple regulatory measures based on the practical recommendation of those within the maritime industry. In this article, we advocate a few simple steps that might help the nation and the world maritime industry prevent a debilitating attack on world commerce and shipping. Current Security Measures a host of new domestic and international security measures now occupy the maritime field. An outline of some of the more important of those measures highlights some of the gaps that exist and point the way toward future progress. Maritime Transportation Security Act the Maritime Transportation Security Act MTSA, implements the security policies formulated by the International Maritime Organization IMO, including several anti-terrorism amendments to the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea SOLAS, and the International Ship and Port Facility Security ISPS Code. Admiral Thomas Collin prepared testimony before the House Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure Subcommittee on Court Court on Maritime Transportation, Fed News Serve. The key domestic features on the MTSA include the following Post Security and Vulnerability Assessment, Detailed Security Plan to address those assessments. Designation of the captain of the port to a federal maritime security coordinator position and empowerment of those coordinators to make and implement specific port security measures. Requirement and standard for hiring and training security personnel. On the international fault, 
The change of to SOLAS and ISPS resulted in several new security requirements that ship display identification number permanently in a visible place on the vessel. In addition, ISPS requires that vessel owner implement the following measure. Designated sea officer plans to address risks such as terrorist boarding or hidden bomb, tracking device to prevent heat checking and monitor routes, alarm system to notify authorities of security breaches. Murray Strachan through new rules on the horizon, a Virgin Press, September 1, 2003. In addition, ISPS requires port to conduct more stringent risk analysis of berthing ship, be able to shut down and eliminate possible threat, and establish procedures to detain or banish vessel posing threat to security. Custom Coast Guard Regulation Container Security Initiative, CSI CSI represent an effort by the U.S. to cooperate with significant port state on inspecting containerized cargo. CSI specifically placed U.S. custom officer in part of origin to pre-screen and inspect high-risk containers. U.S. custom implementing new maritime anti-terrorism regulation, January 16, 2003. Under CSI Port State and Custom Officer, work side by side to target high risk containers and to inspect those containers before lading. Advanced Manifest Regulation The Advanced Manifest Regulation or 24 hour rule requests the shipper and carriers provide custom with specific information for containerized cargo at least 24 hours prior to lading. Custom New Regulation Supra Once effective, U.S. Custom will no longer tolerate value description of cargo or plan manifest for ship planning to enter U.S. port. Included in this new prohibition of value description are terms such as freight of all kind or FAK. Finally, the regulation allow non-vessel operating common carriers having international carrier bound to electronically present cargo manifest information to custom. Electing to so provide electronic cargo manifest but failing to do so in an accurate and timely manner face liquidated damage under the regulation. 67 Amendment, the new regulation requires that electronic submission and disclosure be made through the vessel AMS system. A limitation to current effort to provide security and facilitate commerce. Despite some of monumental first step and increased attention to maritime security, shortcomings remain. Some of the current limitations highlight the simple change that might enable greater homeland security. Thank you.